talking about listening. And yes, indeed, all the teachers were able to teach us to listen. And a word that I just recently learned, Shema. Shema is a Hebrew word. It means to hear by design. It means more than just to listen with one's ears, but to take the message internally into your heart. It means this is important. This is deep. Hear this and remember. Take it into your mind and into your heart. Then do something with it. Shema. God uses the word Shema when he delivers his commands. Perhaps the best known instance is actually known as the Shema in Deuteronomy 6, 4 to 10. To remember his commands, to follow them constantly, and to pass them on to future generations. Which is the Shema that our teachers did for us, who were forged in the fire before us and were able to impart to us what they did. Each one individually with their own giftings were able to bring a different facet of the word and the experience with it into our lives. It's life transforming. Tonight I don't see uh, Pastor uh, Brent Slosh here, but he was one of my teachers and he taught a little differently. He made us get out of our seats. We would all wonder what would happen when he was going to come into the sanctuary. And we'd get out of the seats and he'd make us go down to the front. He'd make us start speaking in tongues. He'd make us start praising the Lord. And the fire would start coming down. And we'd end up in the glory on the floor of God. We'd be drunk in the spirit. We'd come from that class three hours later and Linda Cole would ask me for the notes. We were on the ground. Could I have those notes, please? You'll have to get them yourself. I'm sorry. I was right where you were. That was memorial, and that was wonderful. Pastor Miguel, I remember the first time we had to memorize um, the first chapter of John. And our whole class went to town to memorize and memorize and memorize. And we went behind this closed door with Pastor Miguel, each one of us, and we were like this, Pastor Miguel. And he, and he couldn't understand, why are they all so nervous? But it was, it was a tough, because we were serious, right? We were serious to know the word. We wanted to pass, we wanted to excel, and we wanted to do it with excellence, because that was what was expected from us, a standard of excellence. And we wanted to rise to that occasion, you know. I remember uh, going to Pastor Patty's class, uh, Healing for the Wounded Soul, and going into my little group, thinking, I got this. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm not going to start crying, or I'm not going to break down. There's no, I got this. <laughs> Within five minutes, I think I was on the floor. <laughs> I think you were in another group. <laughs> I'll tell you, it was a time. The next eight weeks, I was on the floor. But I thought I had it. But the Holy Spirit, he knew me much better. He knew what I needed. And I was stretched. And it was wonderful. It was wonderful. I remember in Brother Russ's Marketplace class, we had to pass the microphone and say to each person who we were, where we were from. And my heart was going... Oh my gosh, I don't think I can hold a microphone. You know, it would be like this, you know, because we didn't know how to hold a microphone. You get taught those things in Bible school. Yes. Come on. You know, it becomes part of you. Yeah, because of <laughs> anyway, I said all that to say this that this was an opportunity of a lifetime to be forged by those who had been forged before us in excellence. Thank you very much.